Good morning YouTube, my name is Joe Warlock and welcome to a very quick q and I asked you all for some questions on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube and you sent me them. So I'll answer as many as I can very quickly in a very short video, hopefully. Okay, so the first question was from that Marshall which said, Today is International Tabletop Day. What is your favourite board game? Okay, if we go for tabletop games, I haven't played a tabletop game in ages. I haven't played a board game in I don't know how long. A proper board game, that is. When I was young, I used to play Warhammer and collect little space marines and orcs and things like this and paint them and have massive battles. And it seems really sad now, looking back at that. Wow. Other than that, I didn't really play that many tabletop games. Board games? Actual board games? Proper board games? My favourite is something called The Mysteries of Old Peking. The old version. I've seen that you can get a new version and it's not as fun. But the old one was brilliant. Just because I remember there was a character in there called Mr. Wishy Washy, which I think is a great name. Chris Clay said, What is your favourite item from a subscription box? And his was Marty McFly the Hoverboard. I've got Marty McFly somewhere. Marty McFly. I don't know where the hoverboard is though. Uh, <laughs> this is going to seem weird, but my favourite item out of everything I've had, considering how much I rant on about mugs and how much I hate them, is this mug. Yes, my favourite item is a mug. Sad, isn't it? Don't answer that, it's rhetorical. Rachel Thorpe asked, Have you seen Breaking Bad or Walking Dead? Which is your favourite and what's your favourite album? A lot of questions there. And this is where people are going to unsubscribe from me. Um, I have seen Breaking Bad. The first season was good. Half of the second season was good. The second half was boring. The third series was boring, the fourth bit was boring, and then depending on how you watched it, the fifth, the ending, was really good. People are going to hate me for that because I think it's the greatest thing ever made. But um, yeah, the start and the end were great and the rest was just filler. So Breaking Bad was alright. The Walking Dead, I watched season one, I watched most of season two, I got bored by season three, and I gave up by then. Because it's the same plot every time. Survivors, they move, they find a place, zombies attack, they escape, they find some other people, some people die, more people join the group. Then they have to leave where they've got to and it just carries on. It's okay, it's great, it's brilliantly acted, but it's just not my kind of thing. So I'd probably go for Breaking Bad in that question. And what is my favourite album? Ooh, um... <laughs> what is my favourite album? That's difficult. Either The Number of the Beast by Iron Maiden, uh, music for the Jilted Generation by The Prodigy or Without You I'm Nothing by Placebo. Take your pick. Garvin Edwards asked, who are some of your favourite villains? They can be from comics or films or whatever. So, hmm. I think Hannibal Lecter is a fantastic villain. I mean, he's evil and yeah, but he's a brilliant villain. Anthony Hopkins does a wonderful job in film. Um, I'm trying to think of good villains. Everyone says the Joker and the Joker's great. But I don't think he's my favourite. If we're going Marvel, Apocalypse is my favourite. Not the Apocalypse in that horrible, atrocious looking X-Men film. No. Bad Marvel. Bad Fox. Whoever makes that crap. No. Apocalypse from the comics. Awesome. That's my favourite villain. Apocalypse. Terry Evans asked, How come you left my geek box? Then you kind of answered the question. Because it was shite. Um, yeah, they just went really, 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 really downhill. If they improved, and they really improved, then I might get them again. But then I don't really choose what I subscribe to and what I get. I let you do that by clicking the little eye icon in the corner, for those who didn't know. Michelle asked, what is your name and how old are you? Well, these are two very simple questions to answer. First, my name is... And my age is 127. Malk Jenkins Robo MJ asked, do you shit and piss money? Yes, it's an amazing talent I learned from an elf at Hogwarts. No, I don't shit and piss money at all. Uh, I treat YouTube like a second job, because my first job is full-time, and I work ridiculous hours to earn money. And then some of my money goes on boxes, and subscriptions, and this channel to try and do something. I don't really earn a lot from YouTube, like anything. Adam Galley suggested I should review cheese and bacon products. I'm not entirely sure why, but... In a slightly weird way, there will be a video coming out that may sort of relate to that. Oh yeah, you'll see. Possibly. It's... Moving on! Okay, finally, loads of people asked, 
what is the best subscription box or what is the best UK subscription box? Oh, there's so many. There are... I've got a list of literally every subscription box. And there's just... So many boxes. Okay, um, I won't include the bad ones. I'll just say what the good ones are. If you're in the UK, really good subscription boxes are simply cool boxes, colossal crates. Those two are brilliant. You get value for money every time. I've never had a problem with them. Customer service is fantastic. Perfect. If you're outside of the UK or you want to get one imported, Nerdlock are brilliant. They do about five or six different crates. Um, there's like arcade, there's classic, there's a, like a girls one, a boys one, a horror block, there's loads and they are really good. And there's also collector's corpse, which are really good. If you like Funko Pops, because they're run by Funko, you get one of them in each box. Usually you get a t-shirt and it's all Marvel based. So if you're a Marvel fan, collector's corpse is for you. I've got videos on all of these boxes and they'll be linked either up here or in the description. So please take a look. So that was my Q&A guys. So if you want to suggest anything or ask me a question or anything at all, doesn't matter what it is, leave me a YouTube comment, tweet me hashtag AskJarWarlock, or contact me on Facebook. I will answer these whenever I get enough. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're new here, why not subscribe? Because you might find something you like. Thank you again for watching, but most of all, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.